It has been a very, very tough week seeing the horrific events unfold out of Atlanta earlier this week on Tuesday when eight people were killed in shootings at three Atlanta area massage parlors, six of whom were Asian women. And Yunj, this week's massacre has brought about a wave of outrage and further attention to the rising trend of hate crimes that we're seeing against Asian American people in particular, Asian women over the last year. Yunj, why mm. is this happening? People are pointing at a lot of reasons. And by people, I mean mainly experts who've been tracking the rise in anti-Asian crimes, as you've mentioned, since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic. And the source is the rhetoric that came out of the previous administration when the former president would call it the Kung flu virus or say that it was a Chinese virus inaccurately, you know? And that really started this culture of hate and fear and resentment against Asian Americans that has really culminated in over 3,800 attacks, I believe, since last year, which is a 150% increase. It's just drastic. And it all started because of words, really, like language which is kind of crazy and scary, but it's been encouraging to see that people are responding the way that they are. The uproar that you mentioned, that is something that Asian Americans haven't really faced or experienced in history because a lot of uh, our stories have been invisible or underreported. So this is definitely a tragic moment for sure, but also encouraging and a step forward culturally. I love that you mentioned I love that you mention encouraging because, you know, we see especially your team, your team over at MTV News, you guys are doing such an incredible job and you're working very hard to cover this conversation. Can you tell everyone what you are working on, what you have worked on and where people can find your special reports and more information? Yeah, thank you so much. We really have been working hard on covering the anti-Asian violence starting over six weeks ago when cele celebrities like Daniel Day Kim were the first ones to really call <clears throat> for attention to these attacks. And just this week, we had two episodes on Need to Know, which is MTV News' flagship news show that airs on our social media platforms. And we covered basically why stereotypes and jokes about Asian women can directly contribute to, contribute to the violence that we saw in Atlanta because you know, a lot of the slurs and things that people might find funny but are also racist, it creates this stigma and makes Asian women seem like easy targets. Um, and we tragically saw what can happen when people, you know, see us as less than in Atlanta. And the other episode that we did yesterday was the, uh, over this uproar or conversation about calling it a hate crime. You know, uh, as you might have heard, the sheriff's department in Atlanta who arrested the murder suspects said that this was not racially motivated, that he was acting on his uh, sex addiction. And whether or not that's true, people feel like it needs to be called as what it is, which is a hate crime, given that he killed six Asian women. And calling it a hate crime would actually bring more justice to the victims and their families, which is why it's so important. And it's important to note, too, that since then, Atlanta police officials have emphasized they are going to continue to investigate all possible motives for the killings. And, you know, it's very mm -hmm. important that the media, that we're having this conversation, that you guys are having this conversation at MTV News. And also, you mentioned the celebrities, too, because we're seeing how yep. much power... Um, words have and these conversations in general. Dionne Warwick, Mindy Kaling, Olivia Munn, they are just a few of the many celebrities who have spoken out following Tuesday's massacre, especially using the hashtag Stop Asian Hate. And on Thursday, during an appearance on Gail King's Sirius XM podcast, which is called Gail King in the House, Olivia discussed President Biden's proclamation to lower flags on federal buildings to half staff mm -hmm. to mark the Georgia massacres. Let's take a quick, a quick listen. That for us, you know, was just like, it was just so powerful. You know, it just means so much to us just to have someone at, at that level mm -hmm. say that these eight women Mm -hmm. these eight Asian women, that they matter and that matter. all of the flags across our country will go at half mass for them. Wow. Um, it was an emotional yeah. moment for all of us. And we all took a moment and just, I 
cry together. Yunj, what do you make of Olivia's words there? How emotional has this week been for you in particular in, in having to cover this? You know, just listening to her speak in that tone uh, makes me emotional too. And it's not something that I felt this week, to be honest, because, you know, given the nature of our job at Need to Know, it's like I had to have an instant reaction to the news. You know, you had to have a take. And in those cases, it's like hard for you to like sit with the feelings and like understand like, okay, how do I feel about the attacks on women from my own culture? Because four of those women were Korean, four of those six Asian women. But I think last night after I read the story about the 23, 23 year old son of one of the victims and how he and his little brother are now on their own after their mother was killed, that just really like, it was like, wow. Like, I felt that because you see their face, you hear their stories, you know what they're going through. And you're like, this is real and this should not be happening to anyone. Well, Yunj, we appreciate you sharing those words. And of course, as a reminder to everyone for everything, as you continue to cover this, people can follow you and MTV News and need to know. Mm -hmm.